If you are in the inventor group, the first thing you're going to do is click on the word inventor, click on this link, and that will take you to a folder that I've shared with you. Now that you're in the folder, you want to click on the top one, hold down shift, click on the last thing that's in here, right click, and you're going to have the option to copy to your drive. So move to your drive. Since I'm the creator, I cannot do that, but you will have that option. Okay. Once you have that done, make sure that you're signed in to Google Drive File Stream. Click on that button. If it pops up that you need to sign in, just put in your Google account. It'll now treat your Google as one of your drives over here that you can pick stuff out of. So from there, you can go into your drive, and you will see all of the parts that we just downloaded. Uh, for me, I have them inside of manufacturing for um, VEX, assembly line inventor. This is the folder that you have access to. Okay, let's take a look at what that looks like inside of here. So this is what it's going to look like once you are done. We're putting all of this stuff together, and you don't have to create any parts. That's the part you just downloaded. So this is what the file should look like. Oop, not that. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. We're going to go here to open. This is, let's walk you through it from step one. Go to open, and the very top thing says assembly line. Click assembly line and click open. It may ask you if you want to adjust things. That's fine. Okay, these are all of the parts that you need to make this. And like I was trying to say in class, we're going to use something called iMates, which is going to make it much, much easier to put together. I'm also going to try and break this video up, so we're not going to go any more than about five minutes per video. So if I stop in a weird spot, that's why. So you can always come back to it and find a good stopping spot if you don't get everything done this class period. Okay, so instead of coming up here to constrain, I'm just going to drag this part close to where I want it. And for me, I think if I look at the instructions, and you're going to have these instructions too, by the way, um, I believe that guy is going to go over about five and down two. So we're one, two, three, four, five and down to, it's going to snap into that hole there. So see that little bubble? Hold Alt. Click that. And then drag it to that second one. So one goes under, one goes over. We want the one that goes over. Okay, we're going to leave three squares space next to it. So I'm going to drag another one of these guys close. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then I'm going to drop him in right there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so five in. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's that one. I think we said two, right? Yep. Hold down Alt, click and drag. And, oh, I just did the wrong thing. So if you hit Control Z, that undoes it. And just make sure that goes three squares away. And three squares in between, which should put us right there. Okay. Once we have those, we can start putting this stuff on. And this I had a lot of trouble with when I was just messing with it. So instead of using the iMate, we're going to use a regular make constraint to start, and uh, this is what that's going to look like. You just click somewhere over here, and then the top of this. We're going to click somewhere, if we rotate this whole thing around, we're going to skip about four or so, and then click on the top of this. 